give for the life of the world. And the other verse, <clears throat> this is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did in manna and are dead, he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. So, the partaking of you of accepting Christ into your life and allowing him to give you victory and allowing Christ to reign over you is the experience that is going to lead you as you continue to be led by the Spirit of God, then you're going to have eternal life. So remember, it's a reminder of having communion. Now before communion is being taken, Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. And I'm going to read that right now in the book of Matthew 14. I believe it's there. Before John, we have Matthew. Oh no, it's after Matthew, which is Luke. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is leaving me a little. Luke 14, 22. And it starts, uh, let's go here. Pardon me, that's not the right verse. Luke 22, 17. Pardon me. So I hope you're seeing this as very clear as I am. Luke 22, 17, it says right here, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Wait a minute, am I being confused here? Luke 22, 17, the page. Got stuck together. Okay, I have the right one, I apologize. <laughs> Luke twenty two seventeen it says, and he took the cup and gave things, right? Uh, and take this and divide it among yourselves, for I send to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine or the kingdom until, until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took the bread and gave things and break it and gave it unto them, saying, This is my body, which is in remembrance of me. In verse 10 it says, And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall you meet a man of you bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house. I cannot find the verse right now where he washed the feet, but I will put it on the description below. So this is what we read, you know, the truth, communion. You come to Christ, you examine yourself, um, and to be ready to partake of the communion. Uh, also, what I have seen is if you had an error or something that you needed to make peace with your brother or sister before communion, you can wash each other's feet. And that's like a form of a peace, of apologize, of forgiveness. And then come with brotherly love, like Christ wants his church to have for one another, which we greatly lack. Then we could come and partake of the communion. Did you see the difference, children? There's a great difference, isn't it? Jesus is not literally on the bread, but it's symbolic. It's a symbol of his life. And the wine is a symbol of his blood. Because without blood, there's no remission of sin. So, and it's a remembrance of Christ dying on the cross. So I hope this was very simple for you. And I hope you are blessed with this study. And if you have any questions, be so kind to go ahead and Ask your mommy or your dad or your older siblings if they could put a comment for you. So that's it. So for now, I'm going to ask you to bow our heads and let's have a word of prayer. And may you know the truth and separate from the darkness. And make sure that Christ is exalted in the true communion and not degraded in the false Eucharist slash transubstantiation. Let's pray with children. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this study. Lord, there's just so much we can say. Forgive me if I stumble. And please bless the children and bless this video that it may be the truth. And may you please help us to exalt Christ and not degrade him like the Catholic Church does. Help us to share everybody out to know who Jesus is. Give us that experience to tell it to others. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next sacraments that we're going to study. Bye-bye.